In the last video, we talked about how to add the TechnoKids resource files to your class drive folder. Now that we've done that, we are able to create assignments and give them to your students. So be sure to sign into Classroom. You can get there by going to classroom.google.com, clicking the sign in button and choosing Google Classroom. Another option is to click Google Apps and choose Classroom from the shortcut menu. If you don't see it here, click More and it will appear down on the bottom half of the screen. So open the class that you want to add an assignment to. Go to your Classwork tab and open your Class Drive folder. In the last video, we uploaded the resources for TechnoCandy. We're going to have a look at the assignments that are in there. So let's open the Candy folder and open the Workbook folder. The first assignment is Assignment 1. Let's have a look at that. It is called Spreadsheets and You. It asks your students, um, have they ever used a spreadsheet before? And two things that they would like to learn about spreadsheets. So it does require the student to input some information. So now that we've had a look at it, we're going to create an assignment for your students to input information. They are going to need their own copy of this file in order to submit their answers. So let's close this tab. Make sure you're back on the Classwork tab. You'll see the big Create button. Click Create and choose Assignment. Verify your settings. We're going to be making an assignment for the STEM class and we want it to go to all students. And this assignment was called Assignment 1 Spreadsheets and You. Give your students some instructions about what they need to do with this assignment. So how much do you know about spreadsheets? Use Zoto or Kami to answer the questions. Zoto and Kami are Chrome extensions that allow a user to edit a PDF file. It will allow your students to add answers, circle items, do check marks, that sort of thing, and submit the work back to you. We'll talk about how to add these Chrome extensions in another video. So give the assignment um, a grade. It's only a couple of questions on this one. I'm just going to make it worth two points. If you want, you can set a due date by clicking the arrow and finding a date on the calendar. The other thing that's really important is to assign a topic. This will help to keep all of your assignments organized. We don't have anything yet, so I'm going to click Create Topic, and I'm going to type Candy, because these assignments are all going to correlate with Techno Candy. Now the next thing that I need to do is go and attach that worksheet to this assignment so that students can open it, add their answers, and turn it in. Now we uploaded all the resource files to Google Drive, so we're going to click the Drive icon. We're going to go to My Drive, open the Classroom folder, and then open the class folder and open the project folder. From there now we need to open the workbook folder. If your files are not in alphabetical order, click the sort button and choose name. Choose assignment one and click add. Now there are three types of permissions that we can give the receiver of this file. If we leave it as students can view the file, that's all that they can do with it. They can open it and they can read it. The second option is students can edit file. If we give them that, then everybody will be editing the same file. We don't want that. So we're going to give each student their own copy. Choose make a copy for each student. Click assign. This will now appear on your classwork tab. When your students sign into their classroom, they will see it as well, and it'll be under your topic heading, and there's the assignment. In the next video, we'll talk about adding a template file to an assignment.